I'm so excited to do this. Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Today on the show, two men in their 30s and another man behind the camera, also in his 30s, are making the noble sacrifice of consuming a whole bunch of hard seltzers on a Saturday afternoon for your entertainment and edutainment, as we will be analyzing the flavors and quality of these drinks. Kevin, do you like canned hard seltzer? Once in a while. I don't really like it either. <laughs> I'm not really against it, but to me, it usually has booze in it that doesn't agree with me very much. There will be two flavor categories today. We are doing lime, which I would say is a, I don't know, probably a more common flavor. And we will be doing hard cherry, I mean black cherry, which is a little <laughs> bit more divisive and therefore controversial. The brands today will be White Claw, Truly, Corona, didn't even know they made seltzers. Bud Light and High Noon. These will be blind taste tests. Of the ones that have been selected, I think I have actually had at most two of the spreads. So I don't really have a whole lot of uh, previous experience with it. Neither does Kevin, really. So we will put it to the test so that you don't have to. But you can if you want. And now for the twist. If you look closely at the black cherries, you'll see one of them is actually a regular cherry. Oh my God. And of the limes, one of them is actually lemon lime. If you are able to correctly identify both the normal cherry and the lemon lime, I will buy you dinner. Ooh. Hey. If you only guess one, no deal. All or nothing. You That's got, high stakes. You got some skin in the game. Dang. I was never able to tell a difference between lemon lime and lime. Oh, I can. I like lime flavor. Kevin doesn't like it that much. I don't like cherry flavored things. Okay, I'm ready. Got my paper for taking notes. So are, is one through five the same for us? Yeah. All right, you ready? You ready? A number one. I should not smell it. Not bad, not bad. Pretty limey. I kind of think I got a lemon note in there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that smells I bad. I didn't even get it Can in Can you my say mouth. what number, number Number is. two smells real bad. <laughs> I don't want to drink it. It smells like if you were puked up a bunch of Flintstone vitamins. No, 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 no. Two. Awful. Barf. Tastes like lime. That does have a vitamin-like quality. Ugh. God, I hope I don't have to revisit that one. Number I don't think any of them are gonna be worse than that. Number three. Very light smell. Light flavor. To me, that just tastes like citric acid. It doesn't really taste like lime. It's more orangey, I guess. Almost like you Mountain Dew flavor. I don't know. It's not totally offensive, but I don't think I would seek that out. Number four. How did one of these have such an awful smell? And the others are like pretty much fine. This thing doesn't taste like anything. Oh, it's got a weird aftertaste. Hardly anything. Yeah, there's almost no flavor in that. Light water-like flavor. Number five. <gasps> Ooh. Tastes better than it smells. Oh, no. Just bad. Okay. Between one and three, like which I like there. better. I do think one is the lemon lime. Three is my favorite. One is next, and that I think is lemon lime as well. Next would be four, which just is tasteless. Five is not good, and two is bad, all caps. All right, number one is my favorite. Number one's my favorite, and I think it is also the lemon lime, which means that's it's the Bud Light Seltzer, if I'm guessing correctly. Second is four, which is light on the taste, but I just don't like the others that much. Three, tastes like citric acid, but it's 
it's not that bad. My theory is that four or three is the vodka soda. Five I have in fourth place. I think it has almost like a beer-like quality. The alcohol in this to me tastes bad and generally it just doesn't taste that good. And then two is the f***ing worst by far. And my guess is that it's made by Corona because I associate the stank of that smell with the stank of Corona. So that's my guess. And you both think the same one is the lemon lime? Mm-hmm. Number one. I will tell you both now that your guess on which one was lemon lime is incorrect. I'm not surprised. Was, was I'm not surprised. Three? Uh, it was two. Two? Two? Oh god. The badness of it made it in. in I would have never picked the lemon out of there. It smelled like it <laughs> came out of someone's intestines. Yeah. Number one was White Claw. Alright. Number two was Bud Light. Number three was High Noon. Okay. Number four was Corona. And number five was Truly. Interesting. Bud Light. Bud Light, what a... <laughs> I knew one of the beer ones would be really bad, but I had no idea just how bad it would be. The Truly, I really didn't like either. I didn't like that at all. Ugh, bad. All right, well, yeah. Ugh. Ah. Ah. We'll rinse these out and try the cherries. Okay, we're on to hard black cherry. This one smells like cherry. It smells bad. Number one, tastes like cough syrup. What do you think? Eh. Yeah. Eh, all right. Number two. I know this one. Tastes like cough syrup. Actually, this one's not that bad. I think it's the white claw. Based on how it tastes, I would believe that. Number three. I think we know which one this is. Yeah, this is. one's the Bud Light. That's garbage. Also, this one's colored. There's a color. Ugh, Bud Bad. Farts. <laughs> Number four. I think that one's bad too. Yeah. Based on previous analysis, my guess is that's the Truly. Number five. That might be the cherry. Not, not black cherry? Yeah, what do you think? I don't know, it's like lighter tasting. I don't know. What did we... Which one last time tasted like nothing? The Corona? I think so. My guess is the last one's Corona, because it's pretty light. All right, well, I didn't like any of them. Number one, maybe? Would that be Corona? That's pretty tasteless. That is really light as well. Number one could be Corona. Could it be cherry? Well, there's at least some cherry flavor in there. It's the Corona that's just the cherry, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think number two is White Claw. And I, I'm basing that kind of on the sweetness level or the almost like the alcohol taste in it. I think I like two the best. All right, I have I have my rankings. I like two the best, followed by number one, and then five, four, three. Which one do you think is cherry? Uh, number five. His favorite is number, is number two. Yeah. His second favorite is number five. Third is number one, right? Yep, and four then, is number four. Three is farts, which is five. Farts in a glass. Oh, <laughs> man, which one's cherry, Kevin? I said five, so you should take the other. One of us might get it right, maybe, probably not. I do think five is cherry, though. Okay, we both think number five is cherry. You ready for the reveal? Oh, I'm so ready. You both guessed that number five was the regular cherry. Your guesses are incorrect. Okay. Number five was White Claw. What? Really? The cherry flavor was number one, Corona. Ah. Uh. Number two was Truly. Number three was High Noon. And number four was Bud Light. Wow. Okay, so based on my rankings, the only thing I can conclude is I don't like High Noon products very much. And also, yeah, it's like for me, between the lime and the cherry, they were almost flopped in terms of what brands I, I liked. But I also don't really like any cherry flavored. Seltzers. I'm shocked about the White Claw situation. Yeah, I mean, that's, that was surprising. I think cherry flavor was ruined for me when I was a kid. Just cough syrup, like prescribed cough syrup and just feeling like ass and then being force fed that. No thanks. I have Dimetap, great flavor. Wow. Yeah, I don't really care for that flavor either. I love it. Just got, <laughs> just got some grape, uh, Hell yeah. some grape Waterloo today. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
Well, based on your experience, which brand of seltzer is the best and which brand is the worst? I think White Claw is probably the best, only from familiarity. They disappointed me in the cherry flavor, but they had my bias working against them. I think that Bud Light is the worst. Bud Light is by far the worst seltzer. They, 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 should, stop. they should stop. That's exactly what I was going to say. What did you learn, Kevin? Well... I don't drink enough hard seltzer to care, so I'll still drink White Claw, but maybe Truly has some good stuff. Which one's the worst, Kevin? Bud Light. Don't do it. Not even if you're from Ohio. God damn. All right, well, that's it, I think. Bye. My stomach feels weird. How about yours? Feels all right. All right. See ya.